Hello everyone, my name is Prakorn Kitti Pumong. I am an assistant professor at King Mungkut University of Technology, North Bangkok. Today is my pleasure to introduce you my talk at the upcoming International Conference on Engineering and Innovation 2016. Um, this particular talk is a collaboration work with Dr. Thilawut Pong Payun at Chemical Engineering Department. It is about the degrees of vulcanization of rubber latex using capillary viscometer. So first, I'd like to give you some uh, backgrounds of this work, why are we coming up with this project? Um, Dr. Thirawood and I have been interested in the application of rubber latex using deep coating process. For example, the medical gloves or condom that is processed by using this technique. Uh, as is shown here, the medical glove must exhibit a good flexibility, but also it has to show a good mechanical property too. This is commonly um, improved the mechanical properties by using a uh, vulcanization process. By adding sulfur into the uh, rubber latex, uh, and that sulfur molecule, we form, uh, we hope the uh, rubber molecule to form a three-dimensional cross-link network, and that will improve the strength. In terms of the quality uh, assessment, uh, there has to be a good way to measuring the uh, progress of this vulcanization. And a common way to do this is to use what we call equilibrium swelling tests. As is shown on these uh, pictures here, we usually use a test piece. We dip that into the rubber latex and use an appropriate solvent. After that, you remove the film and measuring the expansion of that film from the original size. And that gives you the um, indication of how, how far or the progression of the vulcanization. This is a good method, quite simple, reliable, but as you can see, it involves a lot of steps and it can be quite time consuming. So our question is how can we uh, improve uh, the measurement technique? What we think that it can be useful for this particular case is to use the flow behaviors of the material. I'll give you an example here first. If you look into the honey and the mayonnaise, both are a liquid, even though honey might be a little bit more viscous or sticky than the mayonnaise. Uh, on the other hand, both, both types of liquid can exhibit quite uh, interesting behavior. In the case of the honey, it behaves uh, much more like a water uh, that we are familiar with. For example, if you open a honey jar, you will find that the surface of that honey in the jar will remain flat just like water, even after use for several times. On the other hand, in case of the mayonnaise, if you reopen the mayonnaise, you find that the surface at the top will not become flat just, uh, just like water, but it will retain the shape of the previous use. And that's what we call it a solid-like behavior. So this liquid-like and solid-like behavior features, we hope to use it to assess the degree of vulcanization. Um, that I will show you on this slide. In the, uh, in the state of unvulcanized rubber latex, we expect the rubber latex to behave much like a uh, honey or liquid-like. Whereas in the state of fully vulcanized, we expect the rubber latex to exhibit a solid-like behavior, much like a mayonnaise. And we, uh, we, we have used the uh, rheological be, uh, behavior data, measuring from a simple instrument like the capillary viscometer, and use that uh, simple measurement to help us detect the progression of the uh, vulcanization. This concludes the uh, introductory part of my talk. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and we hope we're looking forward to um, seeing you at the conference. Thank you.